Hey, it's your girl Q, and you are now tuned in to the Talk with Q. How you doing? You are tuning into a brand new episode of the Talk with Q, and as you know, we just passed Thanksgiving. Okay, I'm the only one that was hyped for Thanksgiving, but you know, we have a brand new week, brand new guest, and I'm going to give our two amazing guests the opportunity to introduce themselves, their brands, and just to let you guys know what they do and the type of things they're into. Hi, my name is Amanda. I have a lip gloss line right now called Queen's Ambition, and I'm going to Lip gloss, it has the lights and mirror. I have eight different colors in stock right now. Um, we're going to expand soon, but for right now, that's what we're focused on, the light-up lip gloss. Yes. Yes, Mr. Late. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, I go by the name of Boss Man Bob, and uh, currently right now, I'm a curator, label owner, and a DJ, so I just move around the city trying to make shit happen. Okay, okay. So, um, just to touch on you, Bob, how long have you been DJing? Uh, I would say about 11 years. 11 years? 11 years. Okay, and what made you start DJing? Um, just my love for music. Always wanting to play the music at parties, taking the art score. Just, you know, I feel like I always got the vibes. I always want to bring the vibes. Okay. Just my, my love of music will make sure people have a good time. Okay, so what's like your biggest event you ever did up to today? Mm. Well, my personal event that I do is the biggest to me, but it was a show um, South by Southwest, Austin, Texas. Uh-huh. And um, 2015, it was the World Star Hip Hop show. Mm-hmm. So. That was around a time when that was like the biggest thing going on, on the internet, and I got a chance to get like a good five minute set over there. Well, that's Not good. That crazy, but to me, it don't matter. You like, still had a set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just like we got a chance to do something. Okay, and what about you, Amanda? What made you start your lip gloss collection? Um. Well, I had to. I was looking for a product or something that I can deliver that somebody else wasn't doing. Mm-hmm. So, um, of course, I'm into the makeup and lashes and stuff, but it's very, very big right now. It's hard. It's easy to get in, but hard to make a profit off of that type of industry. Mm-hmm. So, I found a product that basically nobody else has right mm-hmm. now. Um, I thought that it would be very useful mm-hmm. um, for people that go out at nighttime or just you know when you're out somewhere you don't really want to go to the restroom you don't you don't need the night because i did get some people say hey well i'm not a club person it's not necessarily for people that goes to the club mm-hmm. um, it has a mirror on it so maybe you don't want to stop what you're doing you know just to apply or just to make sure your lip gloss is touched up so you can mm-hmm. still use the mirror mm-hmm. and the light to me is just a plus because of course if you can't see, you don't need to use your phone or another lighting. You mm-hmm. have it already there. Oh, that's so really I cute. That was something that I could push and get a lot of people to. That was really, really, really dope. Like, honestly, I could think of times where I've been, like, in a car rushing late at night, not even, per se, going out, but just, like, I could be going out to eat or just going to meet with my friends or just doing something, and you got to look and go through all these degrees to get a light to cut on and put on some lip gloss because if your lip gloss is just looking a mess, then you just look a mess. Right. So, to me, that's really, really, really creative. And can you just let us know ways on how we could purchase the lip gloss and... Just ways to get in contact with you after this. Okay, I have um, right now we have Facebook and Instagram, Queens Ambition, everything, and we also have the direct site, which mm-hmm. is www.queensambition.com. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so you guys make sure you hit both of them up, and can you give us your Instagram and ways to contact you if we want to book you as well? Bossman underscore Bob on everything. Bossman underscore Bob. Mr. Late. He has a bad thing with time. You know, I throw throw everybody under the bus. I don't actually, but today was one of those days. 
Well, you know, a funny story. I'm so like random. I met Bob at the um, MEAs, the Miami Entertainment Awards, and um, I believe I interviewed you. I did interview you, and he was just like really, really cool, really vibrant, really good personality. And I'm really big on energies. And I was like, oh, you should come to my podcast. This was months ago, and I don't think he he never did come. <laughs> So, because we never set it up. It was my fault. And I'm not going to put that on you, but the late part was on him. So, it's crazy. Now, months later, I have launched my YouTube, and he's here. So, I was really appreciative for that. And Amanda, we've known each other. I thought you for a long time. Yes. I think I knew you since, like, middle school. So, it it was just crazy um, when I saw everybody posting his lip gloss. And I saw you were selling lip gloss. I'm very honest. I didn't think that was your lip gloss at first. I'm like, who's the lip gloss I keep seeing people post on Instagram and stuff? Because it's like I kept seeing this freaking lip gloss. And I'm like, and you know when you see something, you just keep constantly seeing it. So you thinking to yourself, everybody just doing monkey see, monkey do. There's something that I got the internet. It's not somebody I know that's selling this lip gloss. And then when I actually found out it was you selling lip gloss, I was like, that's really cool. Have you been, like, selling for a long time? No. I just started in August. Your branding is really good because <laughs> I promise I, I didn't even know that was your lip gloss. It was just like I kept seeing people post with this lip gloss. I'm like, whose lip gloss is this? And that's what made me really look into it when I found out it was yours. And I was just talking to um her before we started recording. And what I realized is like if you brand anything correctly, you could sell it. You could literally sell somebody a piece of paper. But if you brand it the right way, if it's something that people keep seeing constantly, that's like this new wave of skincare products. Everybody's trying to get into the skincare line. If you find a great way to market something, you can sell anything. So I really, really wish the best for you both. Because I'm really, really proud of anybody black doing something amazing. So how I start off each and every episode, I ask the infamous question of... (laughs) That's my fake drum roll. At the moment, what is your current relationship status? You're in a relationship? How long have you been in a relationship? I've been in a relationship uh, going on a year now. Going on a year now? Okay, okay. And how's that going? It's going good. I'm learning a lot. Um, yeah, <laughs> learning a lot. Yes. It's going good. Okay. Mr. Late, it seems a little uncomfortable. My answer is the same as Amanda's. Oh, you're in a relationship? Yeah. And how long you been in a relationship? The same. A year? Just okay. about I think I think that first beginning phase is like you going through that honeymoon slash getting to know each other slash it's like y'all both testing each other a little bit so it's like yeah, that's why I say I'm still learning a lot. <laughs> you never really stop learning a person. I, I remember somebody told me that and I was like that's not true. I feel like you'll figure a person out in a couple of months. But that's true. Like you could be in a long relationship and you find you out stuff. Hide. Oh my gosh! I don't think it's I don't think it's people hiding stuff. I think people we develop every day. We change all the time. That too, but it's like it be feelings coming up from the past that you know you could have just been. At some point, you thought about telling this person, but you didn't. Right? It's something you been with somebody like your relationship. You thought about telling him something, but you didn't. Right? Like something before him? Yeah, just in general. Just okay, I get what you're trying to say. But you're making it seem like you told a person your entire life story that you that you met in a year. Like do that, but when you have those feelings, I think you you should be like, okay, let me get this out, and then that way, y'all don't gotta keep like trying to chase each other around, and it won't take an eternity. We both gonna change and develop. Okay, but I can't just be like. Lay it all on the table and tell you everything, and then and things don't work out. That's why I say, shit. Shit it's not, work. no, it's not about hiding shit don't stuff. Work out people don't be comfortable with each other. Okay, this is like an example. This is an example, and I'm pretty sure, Amanda, you can relate to this because you're a female. Mm-hmm. We have friends, I don't know if men do this the same way, but we have different friends for different reasons. And I'm pretty sure each of your friends, they know a different layer of you. It's some friend that might know real deep dark stuff and that other friend might not know that stuff but that don't necessarily mean that you don't love them any differently from one another it's just one friend you might have went through different things with so you know you could tell certain stuff to one friend you might have met them in a different time of your life so you can't tell them that stuff 
that don't mean I don't love you no different. It's just you came in my life at a different time. So I'm not going to tell you like, oh, yeah, when I was in elementary school and I did this and I had a crush on this boy, so I did this. You're going to be looking at me like. No, it's layers. Yeah. It's layers. You got to peel the layers back slowly. Slowly. It takes time. Oh, I got you. Oh. <laughs> you. I don't even know how that just happened. Yeah, hi. So, yeah, I just feel like it's just different layers. Like, that you meet different people in different times of your life. Now, I'm necessarily mean like I'm hiding something from you. It's just, I'm not that comfortable yet telling you certain things. Like, it's certain stuff you could be boyfriend comfortable and friend comfortable. Oh, that's weird. Cause when I tell you everything, it's like I, I don't. To me, I personally don't like when people do that. Like they tell their boyfriend every little I mean, detail of every little thing. So it's like it's like <laughs> a yes and change. I'm not gonna know everything, but like if you want it to work, if you act in a certain type of way, and I don't know why, then how is it gonna work? I feel what you're trying to say, but you know, sometimes people have like childhood traumas. People have different things they got going on that really have nothing to do with you. What are people with family they issues? Don't, they don't. They don't. And we all got those. So it's like, I think it just always got to be a conversation. But the conversation need to be had whenever that person like um, sparks or what is, what's the new word people use now? I forget. What word? Um, trigger. When somebody triggers this Emotion in you or feeling in you, you should be able to talk to your significant other about it. How do you how do you feel about that, man? Do you feel like you should tell your significant other like everything? I feel like um, it doesn't really matter. As far as um, you can tell them, and sometimes they just know it's not like they're using it for anything. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Not like they're using it to better the situation or okay. I know this about my girlfriend or my boyfriend, so I know I'm not gonna do this, or I know how not to trigger it. You could know and still just don't do anything about it. Mm-hmm. So it's like I, I'm neutral to when it comes to it. Mm-hmm. I can talk to somebody depending on how how our connection is. Like I've had people I've been in a relationship with where I can tell them everything, mm-hmm. but it's like you're just a diary. I can tell you everything and you're not doing anything about it. And I have the person that I'm with now where I don't really tell him much of nothing. He kind of just picks up certain things where he knows, you know. He actually like, tries to be, like, resourceful. Right. Mm-hmm. But it kind of can come back and bite him because one day I could like this or be feeling this, and the next day I may not. Mm-hmm. So that's why I say it just all depends. That's true. That's that's fair. You can tell somebody, like, say you could tell somebody, yeah, I like this or, you know, I want this. And you can want that every day that month. And the next month, that doesn't even, that's not your craving. You don't want to eat that no more. They bring you that, you know? So but you, you know, I, I, some, I sometimes think, um, I get what you're saying. I, I sometimes think, I think that's females. Because I don't think men like that. I don't know. Or y'all feel like, yes, yeah, so, like the person you're dating now, man, do you feel like men are somewhat like creatures of habit? Kind of like, not They're necessarily. Stuck, the, they don't change as much as yeah, I feel like females, we moody. Like, some days, we might, just how you say, one month, we could be, hey, I'm a, I'm going to go, I'm going to dye my hair. And then the next month, we just hate it so much. But we loved it. But it be something that just triggered us to just dislike every little thing about our hair, our this, our that. We want to do this. We want to go to jail. We go to the gym for a whole month straight. The next month, we dig in. The next month, that. But it's just, no, I really feel like females, we're very, like, I don't want to say indecisive, but our patterns aren't necessarily as consistent as a man. Not necessarily things we do on a day-to-day basis. I feel like we all work, we all do things like that. But man, I feel like y'all, that's that's how we know y'all be cheating. Because y'all just make stuff so obvious. Y'all do the same thing all the time. And all of a sudden, now you going here, now you going there. It's like, and you never go to these places. Right. Versus when we do it, it's not you expect for us to do that because we always go to random places. Exactly. Places, so we always do this. We, always we say do this. we coming straight home. You know we not coming straight home. Y'all, y'all coming home. So it's like when you don't come home, it's like, where you gonna stop to? Where you going? Like, 
saying that gotta necessarily mean cheating. No. You're doing something fishy. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't know. For us, I ain't speaking. Well, for me, it's not like um, I would do anything out of the ordinary anyway. Like you say, I guess we are creatures of habit more. I mean, we just, I mean, our routine is our routine. Oh, that's why I said we. Once we get outside of our routine. Yeah, y'all do like, I feel like for the most part, y'all do that, the same thing. Like, we can't be spontaneous. And that's like, that's no, like rare. Yeah. It's exactly. Rare. Y'all are like really consistent. Like, wake up. We'll probably go down to what y'all eat every morning. Like, y'all are very consistent. It's some men in this world that's not. I'm not saying every man is like that. Right, 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 right. But for the most part of men, y'all stick to y'all routine. I can agree with that. You can agree? I can agree with that. Well, speaking of routines, because, you know, I try to bring um, these new little segments that I create in my mind when I'm at home. Mm-hmm. But this one was not created in my mind. I saw this on Instagram. So, y'all know, in the name of Thanksgiving that just passed, they were talking about what is something that will get your black card revoked? Like, something that you do that's, like, makes you not black. On Thanksgiving? No, not even on Thanksgiving. Oh. Just like, it could be something pertaining to food, it could be something in general. Like, okay, me. Um, I hate Kool Aid, like with a passion. I've always hated Kool Aid. That, that, that's, that's a lot of blue grounds to revoke your black card. I hate, sure. I hate red juice. For I sure. hate seeing people drink red juice. For sure. It's something about seeing a red juice. That's like basically saying you're not black because you didn't grow up drinking Jungle Punch and Great Kool Aid. You automatically not even black. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I could be dying of thirst and if it's just red juice in there, I would drink water out of the sink before I drink some red juice. And I don't know how to play cards. I don't know how to play spades. I don't know how to well, play dominoes. Well, me neither. Yeah, nah, that one don't count. But the, yeah. the, the Jungle Punch and Kool Aid for me. Uh, <laughs> you gotta take a card. So just what's hold on for what is something that will get y'all black car revoked that you just don't like that everyone be looking at you or even if it's a movie you never saw even if it's just it could be something so random my personal black car or if I seen somebody doing it you gotta specify no just you like Me? something that you don't do that people will look at you kind of like or something you never did something you don't eat something you never experienced at all quote unquote black people have. You don't eat potatoes have? I don't eat potatoes. That's not really. Well, yeah, because I'm not a big fan of it. Yeah. Every dish is like have to be a part of it. Or macaroni salad. Yeah, I don't eat it. I make it, but I won't eat it. It depends. If I'm in like a really like I'm really hungry type of mood, I will eat it. Not potato salad, macaroni salad. Oh, okay. Set aside is no for me, so that one don't count. So you just oh, fully black? Nah, I wouldn't say that. Only because what well, wouldn't I do? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know. It's hard. That's a hard one. You gotta really think about what you don't do in everyday life. Like, um, watermelon. You eat watermelon? Ooh. I do eat work. Oh So maybe you are fully black. Maybe your black car will never get revoked. Mine see, definitely that, will. Yeah, see, probably not. Like, you know, I can't drive with my seat like, all the like way it. back. Like, that's the only way I can drive. Like, you can get behind me, dog. You gotta, you gotta take this L. Um, yeah, I think I think you are the only person out of the three of us that would have their black car still. All right. <laughs> speaking, speaking of black car, did y'all see... Um, Queen of Slim? No, I haven't seen it. Oh, so I'm taking both y'all black cards. Damn, I did. Oh, that you was did? good. I did. Oh, so I'm mad at only person that's getting her. Yeah, I How you didn't see it already? It just came out Thursday. Your point? It came out Wednesday. It came out Wednesday, right? Okay. Well, no, no. You can go see like Blade movie, like 8-9. Yeah, 8-9-10. Okay, well, I'm not going to spoil the movie because it only been out for a
Hold on, oh, say tonight because if you're gonna be like on the week, then you're gonna get all these. You know, tonight because everybody's yeah. gonna start talking about it. Because everybody is talking about it on the yeah. internet. Yeah. Like, what happened? Hey, we were just having a clean and slim discussion because my fellow Nick here feel like the movie was trash. No, you I can't was, have a discussion though because she didn't see it. No, but we ain't gonna talk about the movie. Was it trash? <laughs> no, it was really good, but it made me cry a little bit. Oh, I cried. It, I, 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 it like, tear jerked me. It was just me, like, yeah, it was like a tear. It was just like, like oh, damn. But well, we can't really talk about yeah, any further than that. All right. Okay, so we're trying to put everybody in the mind space of, um, I think this topic, because we know Mr. Bob is here. Amanda is more so, like, reserved. She's not as amp as Bob, but we have Bob here. Okay. And we need you to do an activity for the topic of the night. Okay. Are you prepared? I mean, no, but let's do it. Okay, so <laughs> the, t- the topic of the night is we're going to put everybody in a mindset of if you're single. Of course, we all know that neither of you guys are single, but if you were single, this man, <laughs> if, you, if you were single, just hypothetically, a conversation that comes up a lot is how women feel they should and should not be approached by men. Mm. So a lot of times I hear people say, if you meet a guy at a gas station, he should get you gas. If you meet a guy at the grocery store, he should buy you groceries. He should. This is not stuff that you have to do. This is I'm just listening, things. Listening, this I'm is listening. just things I have heard people say they would like to happen while they're being approached in these different settings. Or if you meet somebody like out to eat, they feel like you know, if you're trying to talk to me, we out to eat. You know, another scenario that you guys are relate to. You met somebody at a club. What you gonna do? Buy them a drink. Of course, definitely. Yeah, because of the that's, setting that y'all are in. That's all that person I talk to so oh you put down the club something like that yeah so what we're gonna do right about now we're going to act, <laughs> act out Mr. Bob so we're gonna need you to walk off and oh, come back on and we need you shit. to act out to Miss Amanda how you would approach her what is the proper way to approach someone okay <laughs> <laughs> I definitely uh-huh. want to prepare for this. <laughs> so I'm walking out with her. Alright. Rewind. Come on, get off the stage. Uh. <laughs> Do you guys want to like talk on how you would want to approach you or you just want to freestyle? Because if, uh-huh. free, if I freestyle, you're going to get the worst of me. No, no, we want you to freestyle and then we want her to tell you what she would have preferred you did. Okay. Alright. So I like this game. You like this game? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this game. <laughs> Oh my this kid. Okay, so can you let us know really quickly um what where are where are you guys at? Uh, so we could be and is it a club? It gotta be a club? No, no, it don't have to be the club. Well someone else wants to be sitting out. Right? Finger licking. Okay, she had finger licking. Boom, finger licking. Nah, because only people we in Barnes and Nobles. How about that? Barnes and Nobles? Okay. Alright, All right, now I'm thinking Anybody got a book? Uh-huh. Okay, we're thinking like it. We're thinking like it. Alright, come on. Hold on, because I don't, I ain't buying nobody else on $20 plate, bro. I'm putting my own $20 plate, bro. Just come, come on, just come. Just randomly, you see her, like, you, you eye her from my side. I got to steal one line at the beginning. Just, just freestyle it. Give right. us your best that you got. I'm gonna just give you what I got. I ain't gonna necessarily say that. Alright, we're we gonna, we gonna count down. You gotta get to act. <laughs> you do not know her, we do not know you. And I'm just her friend. I'm just here with her, my friend. I'm the, I'm the cop blocking friend that always be that one. People trying to put down that sound of slick stuff. Oh, that's you? <laughs> uh, I need to call in support. You wanna call in some support? Okay, you can. You gotta call in the care package. Help me out, big brother. <laughs> He uses can he, life, can that's he, his lifeline. Oh, okay, he uses a lifeline. Okay, you can. Come on, lifeline. I got a lifeline. That's crazy. Lifeline, you gotta walk fast. He got a song called No Lifeline. Shout out to him. And you can just sit right there, bro. Because you're gonna be my. No, he can sit up there. You can sit right there. As soon as cop block him, I'm gonna throw that. Oh, excuse me. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go on. All right, let me see. Just wing it. He He's about to put down the mantis. Alright. Put it to her. You gotta put it to her. I gotta put it right here. Oh, you put it on? Yeah, you can't see it right here. Alright. I'm ready. Good. Hello, how 
ahí lo da. No sé nada. Va. Girl, don't be touching his hand. You don't even know him. See, nah, you caught blocking. Why are you touching his hand? Why are you touching my hand? I'm saying, hey. you can't, you can't touch yeah. What's up? But why are you talking? Why are you touching my hand? I'm just trying to. Girl, hurry up. We gotta get some food. Okay, come on. We gotta hurry up and go. Okay. But uh, my name, bro. Uh, your friend, your happen. friend seemed like she in a rush. Do I get your number? Right? I'm okay. not in a rush, but you're trying to touch my friend. Why are you trying to touch my friend? Why are you talking to me? I'm trying to get you to calm down. Yeah. Like, I'm going to get you to That's why I hate coming and finger niggas. Yeah. This is why. All right, so it won't be okay if we just exchange numbers and get to know each other? Yes, Okay. All right. I feel like I'm denied. I don't, I don't keep going at right that point. What? <laughs> Start over. Exit stage. She already denied me like five times. Exit stage. Amanda, can you please go with him and tell him how you would like to be approached? Let's right, start this yeah. whole that's, thing that's, over. Yes. Oh, you God. not even confident. You just let me just shun you off. I didn't, though. No, he was like one of them people. Like, he just knew he was trying to get my number. That's how he walked over there. You, why are you trying to get her no food? She was already eating. No, he said, what you doing here at Finger Licky? Okay, you, we'll get you, we'll give you guys some time. What, what you supposed to be doing at Finger Licky? Yeah. Some people come to chill. They drink a mystery drink. No. <laughs> hey, bro. No. All right, I'm listening. Since I was, I want you to right? Yeah, you with me. But you on your phone. Oh, I'm on my phone. Okay, let me get on. I'm, I'm just getting bored of don't be over there like you. Is there anything I can do to get your attention? Mm -hmm. And maybe I would say yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep going from here. Yeah. Or you ask me what I'm doing at a restaurant or something like that. Yeah, I I'm automatically like, okay, no, he's nothing wrong with him. He asked me that though. That's just how I think. Like, that's not every woman. But me, I'm like, okay, yeah, he already done off because he asked me a question that's like supposed to be common sense. Right, right, right. right. So, all right. All right. Yeah. Amanda, come on. From the top. So I come in the same way? Yes, you can come in the same way. You can actually walk on stage now. You gonna walk on You guys can walk together. Alright. I mean, but you, if you on this side, so you want me to come on stage. Well, you can put, I say put the chair. Hey, you room. can bring the chair and put it on this side. Put it on this side? Mm -hmm. I just wanted to talk to you. It don't matter. I mean, how you doing today? I'm okay. You waiting on that food? Would you mind checking on it, guys? Oh, no, no problem. I go do that. What, what you order? Um, we had the lobster. We had lobster. Oh, yeah. We okay. had two plates of lobster. Okay, I got, I got you. So I, I go check, huh? Yeah. You can go check. Uh, the register right here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank Hey, yeah, bro, you got that, um, two lots of mac and cheese? Or yeah, it's like $55. Yeah, it's $45.99. But it's 55 but I'll keep it 10 55 all right, let me, let me, let me get right back at you. <laughs> all right, yeah, he say it's coming. It's gonna be about 55 <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> Did you pay for it? Oh, 
shit. Um, that would get my attention. You said what would get my attention? Oh, friend, it did. friend, friend. Oh, right, 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 right. Hold, on, go. Go. hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay on the speedboat, little fella. <laughs> um, oh, so you need to grab that. Yeah. Okay. Well, you pay for it, and then she'll bring it to me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm do that for you. Well, make sure you go that way for now. I'm going go right now. I'm going right now. Oh, excuse me. What's your name? Oh, I'm Bob. I'm sorry. Bob. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hello. Okay, mystery. You want some punch too? Because I'm going to be thirsty after I eat that. Y'all want the mystery punch too? Yeah, but let me get the um two lobsters. I'm going to pay for that with um two cups of water, please. <laughs> So yeah, I, I want to pay for the food. So what y'all doing? I mean, after y'all eat, what y'all doing after? I think we want to get some juice. Oh, y'all gonna get some juice? <laughs> like, that was part of the meal. Oh, damn. Shit, your juice right here. It's fine, I'll get it. It's okay, fine. Okay, okay. Thank you so much, Bob. All right, that's what y'all, well, like I said, what y'all doing after? Girl, we gotta go. I gotta pick up my baby, let's go. Okay. We gotta hurry up, though. I'll we'll see you later. So, so. Get Instagram. But let's go. I don't pick up on that. Okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> First off. Go ahead. First off. Go ahead. Um, that's me. That's how I'm going to be. Fran, what do you think took place that was wrong? Honestly, I never introduced him to you. To uh, no, nah, you ain't got to introduce me, honestly. Like, you already went to what you're doing after. And if it was me and she already talking about buying the food, I was like, damn, I'm going to buy the food. Can I at least you know, get your number first? You know what I'm saying? Get to know you a little bit first. But you just went to after the after we leave. You ain't even talking about eating here. You already done bought the food. So she always, you know, it's expensive. No, I'm just saying we could have went to the park. What you mean? What you mean? What we doing after? We could have went and went and took a long, nice talk yeah, on the beach. After you was full, we go to the beach and drew the wind, the sunset. Yeah, I don't know. In my perspective, I just asked you to jump after too fast. No, I just think after COVID, the connotation of because somebody do something for you, just automatically think the person just wants sex? No, but the way you said it was, okay, so... I said, it's a question, bro. Mm-hmm. What you going after? I think it was the way it was delivered. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Um, I think I'm really big on... Um, I'm just playing. I don't do all that with my friends and getting somebody number because <laughs> I really don't be caring, but I'm, I'm just real big on like how you approach a person. I'm not necessarily saying like you have to per se buy me something or do all that. That would be a plus per se. But I've met dudes that um, I've been in scenarios where dudes that do stuff like that and they feel like they buy you a little bit and then what turns into after you don't got that number, it's like every little thing is like money, 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 and they stupid or y'all really don't even have nothing that click about y'all. But that's how they get to meet people is by the type of money they spend on you. And then I have met people who don't do stuff like that and everything went well but I think a lot of times with dudes y'all approach people with this mindset of like she have to give me her number because I will approach her if that makes sense. And it don't matter if I'm single, it don't matter if I just went bed lonely the night before and I'm not trying to be funny um it, it don't even matter if i was on tinder swiping i don't have to give you my number just because you came with me and i think that's what's wrong with a lot of dudes nowadays they feel like we have to give y'all our number we have to give y'all some type of conversation so then when the conversation i'm going where y'all want to go y'all get mad or y'all get hostile or y'all want to like try to fight or start cussing i don't i didn't exhibit those behaviors no i'm not saying that you would do that I'm but like, like, like the first time, I was just like, okay, like after like attempt number X, Y, and Z, I'm just like, all right, it's a wrap. Even though I am the type of person that if I do come up to a young lady and her friend, I feel like you and your friend, y'all want to drink, you know what I'm saying? But, but if you be like, oh yeah, well, get me some pasta, I'm gonna be like, nah, I'm gonna just take the tab and I'm gonna slide. So you want to get the pasta? No, I just not to. You want me to give you my number though. But you don't have to give me your number. We can just sit there and have a good time. We can just sit there and have a good time. We can enjoy these drinks. I think, and it'll be cool. I 
I think that once you ask, is there anything that you can do to get my attention, and I told you you were supposed to execute, and that should have been the end of it. But you were still like, okay, so I did that, I did that, and I know now what's next. We could have probably seen each other to, to the next day. And now, it ain't even, you probably maybe ain't even got to do nothing or whatever. Maybe I'm like, oh, hey, you know, because you sure. just, you know, not that, not that we cool, but you just did something for me the day before. Right. So now you automatically got the number or it's easier for you today because you wasn't so, oh, okay, I did this for her, um, looking for something in return, right. not intentionally right. doing it. I've had people fill my car up and they don't know my name, don't give that name, I don't just, they it's do it. Thing. Yeah. It and then I see them next day and be like, hey. You know, just all happy, and it's like, girl, like, and they be giving me the cold shoulder because they genuinely meant to do it. They didn't try to, they not trying, they wasn't trying to holler at me, you know? I feel like that happens more often than people speak about it, though. It's just, um, if we in that setting and I'm, if I approach you, and I'm gonna ask for your number, you know? And it's like, and honestly, in that type of situation, you ain't even have to buy her friend food. You could have, you could have did that, like, you could have honestly just paid for her food. And approach her so differently, and been like, you know, just sit on the slide. Like, yeah, I made sure I, I made sure you were good. Like, you know, what's your number? Let me know. It's all about. It's not what you do. It's how you do it. Of course, when me when we get in the car, I'm gonna be setting out because it's like <laughs> my friends is with me. They good. I'm good. That's just how me and my friends operate. Like, you with me? You good? I'm with you. I'm good. But that don't necessarily mean that you have to do that. But I still would look at you on a perspective of, you know what, you probably didn't per se pay for all I food, but you made sure my friend was good because you approached my friend. Right, well, you have to go and cash out and do all that, but it's not what you do, it's how you do it. No, I feel like, so, that's a scenario. Mm -hmm. But in real life, I'm the person, like, let's say the person I met, and I just give a little breakdown how we met, we was in the spot. I approached her, I propelled out the sky, but I got the plug like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just let me say, you came out of the sky? Yeah, I repelled, you know, with a rope and a clamp. So I can't. <laughs> so, nah, but, you know, they were sitting down just like this. Um, I said hello to all her friends, I offered her a drink. Actually, did she want anything? I offered her friend a drink. I bought them drinks. And then we continued the conversation. They wanted to go somewhere after, so we went down the street. I paid for them to get in. What the hookah? We wanted anything. I would got it. But you know, but okay, I was listen. interested in her. I was gonna say through the midst of all that. When did you ever have a conversation with her? Did y'all? Yeah, cause me and some of the club, we was talking. Her. We was talking like we was vibing. Like we was vibing. So no, okay, it just it didn't matter at that point. But was, you know what? How about how about like switch it a little bit and let's not per se look at the find somebody something but I think that's what we kind of looking at now. Mm -hmm. Just think of hypothetically you need somebody while you're exercising. You can't buy no drink or nothing. You can't buy no food there. Right. So this one you really have to use your charisma, how you talk, how you approach people. Right. I'm real big on don't be trying to get in a whole life story in five minutes. Don't be trying to have all this excessive conversation. I feel like if you meet me and you approach a person correctly, it's like, you know, how you doing? So, girl, like all that trying to that I hate that and I know plenty of people have told me that too. All that trying to figure out a person's life story, trying to get their number, it's like, dang, you talk so much. But then if you a little bit too straightforward, it's like and you ain't even say how you doing, what's your name? No, it's a balance. It's a yeah, balance. So, it's a balance. Alright, I can tell you. And don't touch me. How did how did your or how did your situation come about? Yeah, like, how did I mean that it's okay for that? Well, I met him, I I seen him for the first time in the club. Okay. I seen him the second time at the gas station. Okay. When I seen him at the gas station is when we actually went forward. I didn't right. pursue or anything like that at the club, and I gave him my number at the club. Mm -hmm. But by me giving him my number at the club, the way that everything was going on, you know, it just was kind of one of them, you know, I was feeling myself, he was feeling himself, we, I was like, yeah, but I had already put in my mindset, when I leave, I'm not texting or calling him, you right. know how we all right. work, right. you've right. met women that do that sometimes, sure. you know, For sure. and then I ran into him a couple of days later at the gas station, and his approach was different, I'm not a strong believer on um, first impressions, 
when they say first impressions is everything I don't need. Mm-hmm. Because I've seen people create a whole image because they know it's their first impression. Mm-hmm. And then you run into them again and it's nothing like exactly. that. Exactly. So I I didn't, you know, say okay, okay well he did this the first time, so I'm not gonna I gave him the the chance again to redo it and he did better that time than he did mm-hmm. when I see him the first time. Mm-hmm. And we just been together ever since. That's good you said that because I think I think I'm not good with first impressions. No, not like me per se, but I will really judge you for yeah, the first time really I met you. It. And it's not even only with a man, with a man. It's with females. It's in professional settings. Like the littlest thing you do when I first met you, meet you will always stick in my mind. So that's good that you did say that because that made me think of a lot of people I have met and their second, third. Impression was completely different from their first, but my mind is still stuck on that. It's like, it's really important. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, you're born, so you're gonna mm-hmm. right. dress it up. You got the job, hey, you ain't got to have that. You're right about that. Now, that's something I need to change because I, I don't let that go. Like, I, if I feel that way, it's just. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a bad. That's a bad. Like, like I say, me and my people, we didn't just like. It took time to develop into something, but it was that, I think it was that after part that we continued because it could have been another just hit or miss thing had it just been like, okay, from this spot, okay, I got your number, and then now that's just it. Like she said, it could be, maybe we would have ran into each other again, but like, who she say? And I'm quite sure I would have been more like, oh, wait, nice to meet you. It would have been like a little different message. Well, y'all did set me up today. <laughs> that was funny. I, you know, it's crazy because I saw that said. Um, I write like a list of different topics, and then I saw that, and I was just like, "How is it a way to be funny and interesting?" So that's what made me say. And I was gonna tell you ahead of time, but it wouldn't have been funny if I was talking before we got here, because you would have knew what you was gonna do. But um. What was I going to say? So just for future reference, this is for people that's tuning in right now. And this is for men as well, because I have heard men say, you know, they sometimes like when girls put down on them. Some of them don't. I don't know. You can email me, message me, let me know. How do you feel is the correct way to approach a person once you want to talk to them? Once you try to get their attention, what is buying them, staring them down, whatever the case may be. Because I've heard girls say that too, like, they just look at a dude. That's their that's their form of putting down. So when y'all lock eyes, yeah, y'all that that lock eyes. If, if a person lock eyes with you for more than like five seconds, okay, but, look, but what does that translate to? You? Like, who gonna make the first move? Like, I'm not. You think? You don't want to walk in? Oh, see, <laughs> see. So it's just like that look. Like, if if it's a look. <laughs> nah, I know that. But I'm just saying, like, who? Like, how does, eventually you, if you don't, then that's what it is. But I'm not gonna get up and pop myself across the room to be like, "Hey, what's your number?" That, that's weird. It's weird. But I know plenty of people that do that. I'm just saying, me, I wouldn't even know. It just depends. Cause what if the dude is like awkward and that's why it's what about the chance, to get that what, courage what, to, what about the chance to lose take every single time they have it? Y'all are men. Oh, God. <laughs> now, listen, listen, because I, I don't want nobody that's watching. I'm not bashing any female that put down no, because I have plenty of friends that do it. But I just know me, like, it just, it'll be awkward. Like, it'll be so awkward. Like, I'm gonna come and be like, hey, what's up? Like, I don't even know. I don't even know how that would go, but I just feel like it would be. It's the same way for you. It's the same way as we go. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's the same. So, thing. what you want somebody to put down on you? They haven't before. It's the same. And you would like a female to come and be like, hey, what's your number? I don't say I would like it. I wouldn't take charge, but if she do, she do. Okay. The same feeling yeah. you think you're gonna get, the same feeling we get. It's like, I'm taking, like, I'm taking a chance. Man, do you want to put down on somebody or you would rather somebody? You you want to put down on a man or you would rather men put down on me? I'd rather them put down on me, but you I'm not. Because you scared of hearing no thank you. I was going to say, I don't like rejection. Exactly. That's why when you were talking to me, you see how I handled you? Because I ain't, you know, some people like, you know, how she was. Like, uh. How did I handle it? What you mean? 
Like when you were saying no. Oh, you were fine. You were fine. You were fine. But she was trying to say like she didn't come off as like as I would yeah. because she I wouldn't know. like how that would be felt. Right, right, right. right. I got you. I got you. Me. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I was just a fuck up the day. Not touch me. Not like that. Well, so the whole, the whole touching thing. That's no no. I always tell my friends like, uh huh, girl, because I'm always the one that be too. And you know, you know what's so crazy about that? It's a funny story, but when I started first started dating my boyfriend, he's here. When we first started dating, it was so funny because you just so used to people trying to be like so like touchy touchy. I hate that. So it's a point you actually date a person that's not like that. It's like, yeah. Hey, 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 kiss me yet? What do you mean? Like what? And I, I always make jokes to him about that now. Right. Because I remember back then, I was like, hey, he's 55. He ain't trying to kiss me or anything. Oh. Or it'll be times we'll go somewhere and I'll try to school up. He'll literally call my hand and I was like, he won't try to kiss me or nothing. And it was such that reality shock. And I remember hearing some people say, like, when you don't, Pay a female no attention on you really just like act like she just more. that bothers her and that really uh, aggravated me and I uh, never thought that would aggravate me but it really did and I was just like and he tell me all the time because you used to be feeling yourself so I just knew like I had to really just treat you like I really didn't want to touch you like, I was just like dang okay. well, I guess it worked <laughs> It's a part of human nature, like what they do, we clap each other yeah. up, give each other hugs, it's like what to be like physical? I mean just like a hug or uh how you doing? You you ran me down by a handshake. Yeah, I'm no but I'm really big on like I don't know, I'm not I don't wanna say I'm not physical, but then I I'm big on manners, if that makes sense. Okay. So I'm like, you know, I'll approach you, shake your hand, blah, 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 but all that being overly affectionate, affectionate, that's something that's probably not the downfall for me. Yeah. I'm not that. But I have gotten better over time, I guess. But I don't know. Okay. I still don't think I'm going to be like, run up to somebody, hey, um, put your number in my phone. Uh, what's y'all implement plan? You got a Snapchat? You got an Instagram? Oh, I don't see that. I, well, I, I ain't say those things. <laughs> If you, I'm like, I'm gonna be as polite as possible. If you're not gonna give me your number, then like, I don't, you can keep the rest of that. Um, I'm trying, trying to get to know you. Like, we can be friends. Like, um, I was just somewhere, and a young lady, she was out promoting herself. Mm-hmm. And she was just like, "Hey, I'm just gonna hit you up." I'm like, "Okay, well, if you do something on my DM, then I'm gonna hit you up." Like, okay, that's cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even at the end of the day, like, I'm gonna hit you up. Like, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you gotta you know be trying to communicate with Instagram. Like, it's like call me or text me, you know what I'm saying? That's why we never made it work the first time. You want to be all on my IG with it. Oh, because no, it's Text not. me, call me, and even though I'm late, I'm here. No, because you have to look at me, and this is like a sidebar. Me um, being a professional woman in the industry that I'm in. It's probably a little. It's hard. That's probably females, true for you. Females, you know, even females sometimes I don't get around them. Right, right, right. But it's just kind of hard sometimes on how you approach people, on how you go about things. Because I've had plenty of times where people tell me I'm going to be X, Y, and B, and then it's you be right. around them. Because I'm always going to shut something down that I feel uncomfortable. Because I'm real big on like my respect and I'm big on what I do. But I notice when it comes down to do, you have to really be like, listen, right now here, this is this how it's going to go. And there's some dudes that, you know, they, they just how you said, like, no, okay, I don't feel better if you call me or this is my manager number. Or once right. you set this up with this person, call this number. Because they be like, I get hundreds of messages on Instagram all the time. I'm not going to be doing all that. So then I have to be like, okay. Hmm. And then it comes that one time where it's like, you got to text between these times. You, and honestly, it really is like that. You got to think about all that no, when sure. you're dealing with dudes. Because it's like people, you give them an inch, they take a whole mile. Mm-hmm. They take a whole mile. So. In the professional world, that's anybody who knows who's doing business world. That's not good business. So. <laughs> That's yeah, we text it late at night. I hate that. Like, all that texting late at night. Like, I don't know. It depends who you are. Like, if I feel like, like, certain people, I really don't even look at it like that. Like, it's certain men in my life who I'm just, like, genuinely, I understand that they really not like that. So, it's like, I don't care. Like, something's on my mind late at night, something randomly. But it still is times I got to catch myself because it's like, you, know, you still a man, I'm still a woman. It's human. Like, so... 
That's like the whole thing of men and women being friends. I'll discuss that on a later date. Okay. <laughs> Okay. But just for future references, I feel like in this day and age, it's not possible. You can argue with me later if you guys disagree, agree. To be I don't feel like it's, yes. Oh, wow. I, I just don't feel like it's possible. I'm not saying that. Now, you had a friend from a while ago. I'm not bashing that. Like a friend that you've been had, but you making plans in this generation? No. No. So they would have had to be your friend, like, what, how long ago? And what is going to be okay now? Like like a friend out okay somebody I feel like it might be a friend somebody you probably knew like in middle high school even so, if you grew up with so them you either. can't meet a friend now like you said I don't f- I don't I could be wrong definitely be wrong because I know some people who have friends I don't be feeling like they're friends but they're friends but I just feel like yeah this day and age it's not it's it's rare for a man or woman to really be like. Have a what is what's the proper term that plus one plus two yeah. friendship. Uh, you agree or you disagree? I agree with you saying as far as the time frame, I feel like it has to be something that was already there. Um, uh, if it's not business related, as far as like your your the industry you're in, like people that you have to talk to or something mm-hmm. like that, then. Just sparking out of nowhere, like you meet somebody and then you meet somebody you already got your significant other, and then y'all just be friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't. Well, maybe that's just a, a timing and an age thing. I don't think it's more of a um, generational thing. I think that's what anybody, I guess, who maybe twenty five and up is trying to work towards their goals and got a partner. I think it was like that for everybody. I wouldn't say right now can't nobody be friends. I can go meet a friend somewhere. Nah, man. <laughs> this is a conversation I for, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. for I another night. Cause I, I have a lot of reasons why I, I feel like that is not possible. Right. Okay. But you guys, if you like, love, disagree with anything that we talk about, make sure you email me to talkwithyou@gmail.com. But before we wrap things up, I really, really want Amanda to show us her amazing lip gloss. Lights on it. Okay, I have a cover. It on you. Oh, yeah, for me. Yes. Something similar to the one you have on, which is the mysterious. Oh, they always come to the bags. They all come with bags. Oh, this is so nice. Do you guys see the bags? Do you guys see the bags? Oh, I see you have um, like the clear mm-hmm. like. Yeah, this is. I think I have one with your company right now. Yeah, I like natural, nude. And then I have my hair out today, so it also depends what's in my hair at the moment. So how you put the light on? Ooh, this, oh, y'all see? Oh, this is fancy. <laughs> this is real fancy. Yeah, we do. Ooh. You peel the um, steel off so you can have a clear view and This is so cute. Listen, listen, I have to. This is like adorable. I, I love little like cute stuff like this. So how did you? This is like really really nice. How did you find? Well, you can't tell us how you found the container. But this is really nice. Listen, you guys, make sure you get some lip gloss. This is super duper cute. Now I'm gonna be really aggravated to keep opening this the rest of the night because I'm childish like that. But <laughs> please let us know once again. How can we purchase? How much would lip gloss like this be? Um, well, we have a sale every Wednesday where we do free shipping. Mm-hmm. So if you catch the free shipping, you'll pay $12. Mm-hmm. Um, if you purchase on hand, you'll pay $12. Mm-hmm. Um, the only time you will pay more than $12 is when I have to ship it out to you. Mm-hmm. So if you go online and you purchase one, after tax, it's $15. Okay, okay. Well, you guys, make sure you get yourself a lip gloss. This is so, so cute. This is adorable. And you guys have anything that you would like to close out on, especially you, Bob, you have any projects coming up. I remember you told us this is your artist. Yeah. So do you have anything coming out or something that we should be looking for? Um, right now, currently, I'm working on 
final pro process of my mixtape. It's called Battlefield. Um, it's completely done. It's just in the mixing mastering process. So yeah, that should be coming real soon. Can you let us know your Instagram and your personal, your social media so we can follow? My Instagram, my Snapchat, everything is the same. It's Zone Four Take Z O N E the number four T A Y. MCMG. You want to put that out? MCMG. That's the label. That's my label that I'm trying to build up. Um, it's going to be under the umbrella of Bob's label. Um, it's going to. Got some great music coming out for, for the city. Man. We just want to make the city proud and put us ourselves on the map. Mm -hmm. So, you have anything coming out that we should be looking forward to? Um, so, yeah, a part of that is his project. Um, I got another young one sitting over there. Her name is Humble AP. Mm -hmm. um, her project is also done and in the same stage. So, we're just pretty much working um, towards getting those out. I got some music that I've been working on. I'm so, um, I wanted to throw an event. What it is? It ain't December yet. Monday. Next Monday. Monday. Well, yeah, Sunday. I wanted to throw an event, but we work. We still working on a couple events. Um, I'm gonna try to do a next one. It's gonna be a simple math. That's the label, simple mathematics. We're gonna try to do a networking, free event for all the brands that come out. I gotta make sure I get your information so we can do some um, pop up shops and whatnot. Some vending. Yeah, I mean, just simply by when you catch me around the city, um, an event coming up Sky High. I'm not sure if anybody's familiar with it. It's in December. I'll be DJing, hosting. So. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, music and music, fashion, the city, whatever the city doing, I'm trying to be a part of it. That's it. Well, thank you guys all for coming on. And thank you as well for coming on to help us act out our scenario. And I really, really appreciate you guys. Um, so you guys, you know, make sure you tune in every Sunday, 7.30 p.m. And uh, <laughs> make sure you tune in every Sunday, 7.30 p.m. And of course, if you guys agree, disagree, you know, I love a little bit Make sure you look on my Instagram. It's a talk with Q, Twitter, the talk with Q. And make sure you are tuned in next Sunday because you never know who's going to stop by. And I appreciate you guys once again. And good night. Hey, it's your girl Q, and you are now tuned in. To the talk with you.